Beginning in the Oligocene and continuing into the Miocene Epoch, forested areas receded as grasses grew to dominate much of the globe. North America saw the appearance of high-latitude savannas which supported a large array of grazing herbivores. Megafauna such as the horse Pleohippus and the enormous camel Titanotylopus inhabited what would one day become the Great Plains. Beneath these giants lived a smaller but equally notable mammal with an unusual feature. Ceratogallus was a genus of rodents which lived from approximately 16 to 5 million years ago in the late Miocene and early Pliocene. Otherwise known as the horned gopher, this creature had powerful digging claws and is thought to have burrowed similarly to modern gophers. As its name implies, this rodent's most distinct feature is a pair of horns originating from its nose. This feature is extremely rare among fossorial or digging mammals and only the armadillo peltophilus shares this trait with the horned gopher. Reaching a maximum length of approximately 30 centimeters, Ceratogallus is the smallest known horned mammal and the only rodent to possess horns. Many theories have been proposed to explain the presence of this bizarre facial ornament. Perhaps the most tempting is that these horns were used for excavation by the fossorial Ceratogallus. However, a closer look reveals that the horns themselves are too broad to be an effective digging tool. These horns are positioned towards the back of the gopher's nasal bones and point away from the animal's snout, making them essentially useless for excavation. Taking this into consideration, it is far more likely that Ceratogallus relied on its large front claws for the bulk of its digging. Another hypothesis proposes that Ceratogallus used its horns for display or combat between individuals. However, while it is likely that only males would compete in this way, both male and female Ceratogallus carried horns. Additionally, their position towards the back of the horned gopher's head makes wrestling between others of the same species unlikely. This is further made difficult by the fact that Ceratogallus had shortened cervical vertebrae which limited the flexibility of its neck. Finally, researchers believe that the horned gopher's vision was inadequate for females to identify the winners of such contests. This conclusion stems from the revelation that Ceratogallus had smaller eyes than even the modern mountain beaver, an animal which itself has poor vision. The most likely explanation for Ceratogallus's horns is that they were used as a form of defense against predators. While their broad and robust shape would make them ineffective digging tools, they are well suited for protecting the animal's vulnerable eyes and neck. The ability to fend off at least some attacks from predators like the bone-crushing bear dog must have been advantageous enough to offset the drawbacks of having such cumbersome horns underground. A similar form of defense can be seen in the horned lizards of today. Though not the most awe-inspiring animal on the megafauna-dominated plains of late Miocene North America, the horned gopher is a unique and interesting rodent which is just as intriguing.